guys, just a quick side note before we get started. I just wanted to say that we are going to jump from episode one to episode three of the Asylum Challenge. Um, due to my own um, personal errors, I um, accidentally went ahead and deleted um, all of episode two that had already been um, edited and rendered. I'm not really quite sure what happened. Um, I tried to do a system restore and all that fun stuff, but um, episode two is gone. So you, we didn't miss too much. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into episode three um, and keep trucking right along and just learn from our mistakes. And yeah, so I will be using a new um, recording software for the next couple episodes, trying that out, trying to fix some of the glitches that I'm having with my current uh, recording software. So bear with me. And so let's get started and let's continue the asylum challenge. Um, excuse me, Haley, who do you think you are? She just knocked over the trash can. Rude. So, so y'all, and welcome back to my channel, Plume here. And we're back at the asylum. Um, we're going to be checking on Sydney. We have a lot going on. The sink is filthy. The shower finally broke. I see knocking on wood didn't help. Um, I think that that, I'm going to have a counter for all the things that everything breaks, but we've got spoiled food. We have filthy counters, uh, filthy sinks. We have a broken computer and... Yeah, so Sydney has work in a few hours. We're still just overrun with garden gnomes. They don't go away. And we're going to get her up, try to get her moving, get her aspirations filled so we can get out of this place. So she is on uh, part two of four of the MasterChef aspiration, which involves um, she has to have a cooking skill of, of level five, cook a gourmet meal, and earn silver at a dinner party, which should be interesting. Please don't eat that. Why do Sims, listen, why do Sims eat spoiled food? It's literally green and rotten and she's about to sit down and eat this. I'm halfway tempted to let her do it, but she's not going to. This is not acceptable, Sydney. These little gnomes creep me out. This one's mad at me. <laughs> They're all upset. The other sink broke. Tally ink. <laughs> or the other shower, excuse me. So we're gonna tend to her needs first. And if she, ooh, wow. And if she has time to repair something, she will. I'm not even gonna move the gnomes. Um, I think we can, but I'm just gonna leave them. They look very inconvenient right by the, <laughs> the dining room table, so. I think, I don't know what you guys think, but we're, we're making, take a shower. I feel like we're making fair money. I mean, we have almost, we have over 5,000 simoleons in the bank and we're playing on easy mode. So I think I'm gonna make a commitment to try and make this a little more challenging. I'm not gonna pay to replace anything that breaks. I'm not going to skip work or go out of my way to replace anything. If I'm able to do it, um, then I will definitely try my hardest. She has work in 16 minutes. So, I mean, we just have trash everywhere. <laughs> okay, so Sydney is back from work. She was promoted to caterer exciting and she'll now make an additional 10 smillions an hour uh she got a 368 dollar bonus and a stainless steel auto pot i do not know what that is we will find out in a minute and um we're gonna see if everyone else will head to work or not she needs to cook a gourmet meal and earn silver at a dinner party we're, i mean you know the career is good to focus on because of course that gives us money coming into the house but um really need to focus on the aspirations oh yay fridge is back on the list <laughs> everything is breaking so i hope that you guys are watching this in october i hope that simoween 2019 is going strong i'm pre-recording um a lot because if I want to get 31 days of content done, need to start a little earlier. So I'm um, not going to tell you what day it is. 
actually, but um, even with no handiness, I have never seen a sim be electrocuted. Everyone's trying to make a deal in this park. So that paper bag stashed between, but behind the trash bin, while well, it's probably not full of sandwiches. It could be a setup though. Sergio can either swipe the bag or leave it alone. Oh. Okay, we're swiping it. Let's see what happened. Ooh, Sergio bagged a deal. Cold hard cash, 50 simoleons. Let's try to fix, let's see. So we have one working shower. Let's fix the refrigerator. Cause at least with a refrigerator, you can make a salad or a fruit salad. All Joe, he stayed home, but he's cleaning. Oh God, I'm always walking in on people. I swear, if she dies from embarrassment, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. The sink is broken again. Guys, I cannot carry the whole weight of y'all breaking everything <laughs> with your hygiene problems. Okay, Sydney is off to work. So let's see what kind of shenanigans are bound to ensue. What other things can be broken in her absence? Literally everybody is smelly. There is trash everywhere. <laughs> There's just water pouring out of the faucet. And what's sad is we have the money to just replace it, but that seems really easy and I don't want to do that. No one's died. I think that's got to be like some sort of bar, right? <laughs> okay, so an unhappy customer has sent back a dish that's undercooked and an edible. Sydney can handle this one of two ways. Nuke it in the microwave or make the dish over. We're gonna make the dish over. Ooh, and an extra tip of $50 and a performance gain of small. Sydney is straight up not having a good time. <laughs> uh oh, an old woman just scuffed Carlos's new work shoes. Carol's new work shoes. Sorry, just making up people. Um, they are the very finest quality of bow gator. Good job, Carol. Should she teach the old lady a lesson or just let it slide? Let's just let it slide. That little old lady didn't know what she was doing. And the other sink is broken. <laughs> All these one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five people are missing work. Poor Vinicio. He's just mopping it. Oh, the toilet broke again on the list. <laughs> I need like a theme song for this or some sort of sound. Oh my God, they keep getting promotions. <laughs> They're gonna catch up to me soon. This is really sad. But um, anyway, we're going to let her get some rest, take a vacation day, try to keep the asylum from just crumbling out underneath us. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> okay, so update, it is 7.50 in the morning. The second toilet is broken. Sydney is about to use the restroom on herself. We are not going to replace this toilet. We are going to repair it and we'll just suffer. Oh, and we were too... We weren't quick enough. Repair that sink, girl. You got... Oh, no. No, we're calling in today. This is a crisis. <laughs> we're dealing with a crisis. How many... Okay, you guys, it is nine at night. <laughs> Sydney has spent her whole day off saving this place from sinking. And um, I think it's time to call it. She has repaired both sinks, both toilets, the showers. She's cleaned the showers, cleaned the toilets. Um, she is red <laughs> all over. <laughs> and um, on the verge of what I can only assume would be a breakdown. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have liked this episode. Um, it was pretty interesting. Everything, everything just keeps breaking. <laughs>